looking for clues. I'm a detective, you see. I solve mysteries. That's why I need a magnifying glass. Can I try, Lucy? <laughs> Lucy, I know a good mystery story. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please, Boris. It was spring in the forest, and the last of the winter snow was melting. This is so much fun, Charlie! <laughs> yes, Alfie! Shame the snow's melting. There's just enough left for one last snowboard. Look! What's that? It was a strange, brown, woolly creature. <laughs> Alfie and Charlie had never seen anything like it. Bob will catch butterfly. Yippity, yippity, yippity. Oh. 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 Ouch! <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> Hello? Barbara hurt head. Here, this will make it better. I'm Alfie. And I'm Charlie. My name is Barbara Bison. We're Mama and Papa. I think you've got lost, Barbara. I was only trying to catch butterfly. <laughs> don't cry. We'll take you home to your Mama and Papa. But I don't know which way is home. Just leave it to us. Alfie and Charlie. Chipmunk detectives. Hi, ho! First, we need a clue. Barbara, is there anything you can remember about your home? Um, yes, blubbly water. Blubbly water? Ah, oh, bubbly water. Follow me. And so, Charlie and Alfie led Barbara to the river, which was full of bubbly water. Yippity, 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 yay! Yippity, 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 yo! Yippity, yippity, yay! Yippity, 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 yippity! Yippity, 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 yay! Barbara catch fishes! One happy baby bison! Where, Mama, Papa? This not Barbara's home. <laughs> not to worry, Barbara. We'll find your home. All we need is another clue. Try to think. Can you remember anything else about your home? <gasps> yes. Yellow flowers. To the right! This time, Alfie and Charlie took Barbara to the meadow. It was filled with yellow flowers. Oh, so pretty! Yippity! Yippity! Oh! Yippity, 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 yay! Yippity, 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 yay! Barbara was having heaps of fun. But then... Barbara not like me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, faster, Barbara, faster! Barbara's yellow flowers. That's not Barbara's home. Well, we can't be far from your home, Barbara. Try to think of one more clue. Yummy grass. Straight ahead! Alfie and Charlie took Barbara deep into the forest. Here we are! Yummy grass! But what about Boris? Oh, 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 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, that tickles. Oh, oh, stop it. Oh, hey, that's my bed. Oh, sorry. Oh, hi, Boris. Uh, we're looking for Barbara's home. It's got bubbly water and yellow flowers and yummy grass. Well, this can't be Barbara's home because this is absolutely, most definitely, and completely my home. Oh. 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 <laughs> mm, why don't you try that way over the hill? Barbara never see home again. Ah. Oh. Cheer up, Barbara. Remember, you've got Alfie and Charlie. Chipmunk detectives never give up. All we need is just one last clue. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where's Fluffy Seeds? Yippee-dee! Barbara and the chipmunks had reached the top of the hill. And they saw yummy grass, yellow flowers, bubbly water, and many, many bison. Barbara! Mama! Papa! Everywhere looking for you. Sorry, Mama, Papa. Papa wanted to catch butterfly. Next time you see a butterfly, we'll chase it together, honey. Okay, Mama. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you for bringing our Barbara home, boys. Another mystery solved by Alfie and Charlie, Chipmunk Detectives. That's how the baby bison got back home to her family. What a brilliant story, Boris. Now I need a mystery to solve. Oh dear, Nelson has disappeared. This is a case for Detective Lucy. Hmm. 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 Ah, round nails, big feet, a trunk. It must be an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever, Lucy. And now, time for bed. Molly? Yes, it was just a little slip. Let me help you. <coughs> Someone left a banana skin on the ground. Well, it wasn't me. That's funny, because it certainly wasn't me. Giggles, Tickles, what's going on? It wasn't me, it was Tickles. Don't believe him, Lucy. It was definitely Giggles. That's enough now. I think what we need is a nice story to calm everyone down. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? 
It's our friend, Sydney the Seal. Arr, arr. Did I hear someone say they wanted a story? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your story about, Sydney? It's all about two special best friends. I like stories about best friends. It's called the story of Snowbutt's new friend. Arr. Snowbutt the polar bear and I would often hang out on the North Pole. What a beautiful cold day. Indeed, Snowbutt, dear friend. Next, we could go for a sail on that iceberg over there. It looks a bit boring. I'd much rather go on that iceberg over there. Well, mine would be better. But I think that looks like a very boring iceberg. And we seals don't like to be bored. Now, come along. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, I'd rather be on my own if you don't mind. Huh, mind? Why should I mind? I'd rather be on my own too. Fine. Fine then. <laughs> I'll be going then. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was the first time me and Snowbird had ever fallen out. At first, Snowbird quite enjoyed being on his own. Well, I think this is a beautiful iceberg. <laughs> Just the sound of nature. So much better than Sydney complaining all the time. <sighs> yes, this is a very interesting iceberg. You could never be bored on an iceberg like this. But Snowbird was beginning to miss his friend. Then he had a brainwave. <gasps> I don't have to be on my own. <laughs> this will show Sydney. <laughs> I wanted to see what my old friend was up to. It all seemed very mysterious. This is going to be a masterpiece. Hello, Sydney. Oh, hello, Thelma. Where's Snowbird? Snowbird? Snowbird, your best friend. Oh, that's Snowbird. He and I aren't friends anymore. Oh, dear. That's terrible. No, it's not. I don't miss him one little bit. You're a real friend, not like Sydney. He was always so bossy. Snowbird's new friend was made out of snow. You're cool, Mr. Icy Flipper. Much cooler than Sydney. We agree about everything, don't we? Arr, arr. Yes, Snowbird. Would you like to go for a sledge ride tomorrow? Oh, oh, of course, Snowbird. You always have such great ideas. Oh. So, early the next morning, Snowbird got out his sledge. Uh. <laughs> Here we go, Mr. Icy Flipper. It started to snow. Uh, it's not easy. After a while, Snowbird's sledge got completely stuck in a snowdrift. Sydney would never have agreed to go for a sledge ride in such bad weather. I think we're going to be stuck here for a long time. Thelma! Thelma! 
Can you help? We're snowed in! Hold on, dears. Perhaps I could shower them with warm water from my spout. <gasps> That's great, Thelma. The snow is melting. Thelma was curious to know about Snowbird's new friend. His name is Mr. Icy Flipper. Do you not miss your old friend, Sydney? Who? Uh oh, Sydney, no, not one little bit. Thanks, Thelma. Bye, Snowbird. Snowbird got a new friend. <coughs> Who is it? <coughs> Did he mention me at all? He has a new friend, but I don't think it'll last. Oh, I don't care. <coughs> Later that day, Snowbird and his new friend were out exploring together. <sighs> oh, this is a very boring iceberg, Mr. Icy Flipper. Yes, Snowbird, it most certainly is. Do you have to agree with everything I say? Arr, arr. Yes, Snowbird. Now, Sydney, he knew a good iceberg when he saw one. Meanwhile, I was starting to miss Snowbird. Uh, arr, arr. Snowbird was the best at choosing icebergs. Thelma the Whale decided we needed some help. Whoa! What was that? Oh! <laughs> hey! Thelma had sent the two icebergs sailing towards each other. Sydney! Look out! Snowbird! I can't stop! Are you all right, Snowbird? Uh, Look out! Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Icy Flipper! Oh, I'm so sorry, Snowbird. I couldn't stop my iceberg in time. Me neither. I can go and look for him if you like. No need. Friends made out of snow are boring. So they're not as much fun as real friends? No. Nowhere near as much fun. <laughs> Thanks to Thelma the Whale, we were friends once more. Arr, arr. You see, friends sometimes fall out, but the important thing is to make up again. <laughs> oh, sorry you slipped on our banana skin, Molly. That's all right. That's better, Giggles and Tickles. <sighs> Good night, Lucy. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. And how would you say that something is good? You'd say, that's bonza, mate. That's bonza, mate. Now try this one. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. That's bonza. You're really getting the hang of it now. <clears throat> g'day, Lucy. Uh, g'day, everyone. G'day, Lucy. Hello. You're new here, aren't you? Yes. This is Carrie the Cockatoo. She's here on a visit from Australia. She's been teaching us how to speak Australian. And we thought we might ask her to tell us a story. Oh, yes, please. Do you know any good ones? I sure do, mate. I've got a very good one, actually. It's all about... Well, why don't I just tell it to you? This is the story of the big billabong wave. It was the start of another long, hot day in the outback. Same old billabong. Same old games. 
Why's there never anything new to do round here? Oh, 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 oh. oh look. There's Carrie the cockatoo. I thought she was on a holiday by the sea. Let's go talk to her. Hey, Carrie! Yoo-hoo! Oh, hi. I was quite tired after my long flight from the seaside, but Joey and his friends wouldn't let me go till I told them all about my trip. And then we had a beautiful barbie on the beach and went fishing on the reef and, best of all, there was the surfing. Oh, yeah, surfing. I've heard of that. What is it again? Well, there's a giant wave and you ride on it. On top of the wave. You stand on a little wooden board and can do all these fancy tricks and ride along above the sea. That's surfing. Wow. I want to go surfing. And me. Me too. So what are we waiting for? But I don't think you can surf here. You need waves. Uh, Jimmy, you can't use a rock as a surfboard. You <laughs> this is more like it. Oh, 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 look like a surfboard. <laughs> hey, look at this. Perfect. Me first. Practice on dry land. Hey! It's easy. Yeah, when there's no real waves. Me next. <laughs> now me, now me. Joe discovered balancing on the surfboard wasn't easy. <laughs> but eventually, with lots of practice, they all got the hang of it. Now, there was only one problem left. Where are all the waves? There were no waves on the billabong. It was just big and flat. Joey and his friends were very disappointed. It's Wally Two Trees. Ah! Have you never heard of the big billabong wave? <sighs> then it's time you did. Many, many years ago, when the world was still young, there came from the billabong a great wave. The big billabong wave. Wow! A huge wave. Taller than a tree. Wow. Wow, indeed. It was the biggest wave anyone had ever seen. From time to time, they say the big wave comes back to this very billabong. Let's go and find it. It may be a very long time before the next wave. <laughs> that's all right, Mr. Two Trees. We'll wait all morning if that's what it takes. And remember, Joey, all good things come to those who wait. Uh, yeah, nice one. Bye. Can you see it yet? I'm going in first. Won't be long now. At first, Joey and his friends waited patiently. It'll be along soon, I guess. Yeah, any moment now. But after a while, Phoebe got bored. Oh, I thought Carrie said surfing was fun. I'm going home. Might climb a few gum trees. Want to come? No, thanks. Think I'll stick around a bit longer. Yeah, me too. I'm going to ride that wave. Then Jimmy got bored too. Oh, Phoebe's right. Surfing is boring. I think I'll go and hang out with the triplets. Coming? No, thanks. I'll give it a bit longer. 
Mr. Two Trees did say we had to try and be patient. Suit yourself. He waited and waited, and then he waited some more. But Joey wasn't bored. In fact, the more time he spent by the billabong, the more he liked it. Oh. It's really beautiful here and so peaceful. <sighs> Jimmy and Phoebe don't know what they're missing. But I'd still like to ride that big billabong wave just once. All good things come to those who wait. Hey, hum, hey, who come, wind, come, wind, blow, blow. Big billabong wave, flow, flow. Hey, hum, hey, who Quite as big as this. <laughs> you can do it, Joey. Oh, here goes. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> there was a big storm, and we got worried about Joey. Where is he? He's out there on the big billabong wave. On the big. Billabong Wave! Well then, what are you waiting for? Big Billabong Waves don't last forever, you know. until the sun went down and the big billabong wave was no more. Wow, what a bonza story. Wish I could go surfing down under. Uh, oh, yes, but not tonight. I think a certain young lady should be heading for somewhere a little nearer home. Where's that, mate? Nelson means it's my bedtime. I suppose I am quite tired. <sighs> Good night, Carrie. Good night, Lisa. Sweet dreams. <clears throat> Lucy, let me tell you a story about Nigel. Nigel? Who's Nigel? Nigel was my favourite little nephew. He was coming to the savannah for the rainy season. Oh dear me, is that the time already? I wonder where nephew Nigel is. He should be arriving any minute. No! Oh! oh, Nigel, it's you. Hi, Uncle Nelson. Sorry I'm late. I took a shortcut. Oh, well, at least you're here. <clears throat> now, let me introduce you to everyone before the rainy season arrives. What's so special about the rainy season, Uncle Nelson? <laughs> You'll see. Nephew Nigel, this is Georgina. Georgina, this is Nephew Nigel. Nephew Nigel, this is Doris. Doris, this is Nephew Nigel. Nephew Nigel, this is Audrey. Audrey, this is Nephew Nigel. Nephew Nigel, this is Toby. 
Toby, this is nephew Nigel. Nephew Nigel, this is Kevin. Kevin, this is nephew Nigel. The next morning, we woke up early and went sightseeing. Look, Nigel, Auntie Georgina is doing some gardening. Hello, Nigel. Have you had your breakfast yet? My garden is full of lovely things to eat. Yum, yum. My, my, your watermelons are doing well, Georgina. Yes, they've grown so fast. Oh, would you like to see my sunflowers too? I'd love to. I must let you have some of my elephant grass. It would look good over by your banana tree. Careful, Nigel. You might <laughs> slip up. Oh, dear. There, there. Why don't you try playing aeroplanes for a little while? Hasn't anyone told him it's bad to waste food? I'm sorry, Georgina. Nigel's usually very quiet. He's probably tired. Yes, well... Uh, I must go. Uh, come on, Nigel, let's go for a walk. Bye, Auntie Georgina. Good morning, Audrey. And how are you today? Very well, thank you. I'm just making a nest for my new eggs. Would you like to see them? <gasps> oh, yes, please. Come and have a quiet peek. Can I see those eggs too? Well, can I? Can I? Um, uh, no, uh, uh, sorry, Nigel. Uh, uh, why don't you stay here and play with this nice stick? Snap! 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 Ooh, they're gorgeous! Snap! Ha! That's a good sound! Let's do snap some more! Snap! Oh, Nigel, what have you done to Audrey's nest? I was just testing the twigs, that's all. <laughs> you mustn't do things like that, dear. You might hurt yourself. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll explain it to him later, Audrey. That afternoon, Nigel went off exploring on his own. Nigel, you're making everything muddy. <laughs> we'll have no water left to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Doris. Have you seen my nephew Nigel recently? Yes, I have, Nelson. Oh, good. No, Nelson, not good. That nephew of yours is out of control. And I, for one, want to know what you're going to do about it. Uh, uh well, uh, I, 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 I don't really know. Yeah. Then I demand a council of the animals. A, a council, council of, of the animals? animals? Yes, over there, under the umbrella tree. So the animals met to decide what to do about Nigel. He's wasteful. And willful. And here he comes now. Meow! The rainy season has arrived. I've an idea. Listen to me. No. Just stand there, Nigel. It is time to get ready for the rainy season. What? We're collecting food. Nigel, would you like to help? 
I don't want to. I'm a bit busy, actually. It'll start raining soon. Come and stand under the umbrella tree. I don't care about the rain. Tell me off. Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> Nigel was too embarrassed to join the other animals. And so he got very wet. <laughs> Nigel, come over here. Sorry, I've been a naughty elephant. Apology accepted. What is so special about the rainy season? <laughs> Let's go for a little walk and find out. The seeds you covered in mud have been watered by the rain. And the sunshine has made them grow. So, thanks to Nigel and the rain, the savannah was greener and even more beautiful than before. In fact, he was planting all those seeds he threw away. The rain and the sunshine made them grow. But paper bags don't grow. They just make a mess when you throw them away. I know. I'll take my rubbish home with me. I have an idea! Let's tidy up the whole zoo! But not now. It's bedtime, Miss Lucy. Good night, Nelson. Good night, Lucy. 